friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. I just got up, it's 7.30. I set my alarm to get up now because I want to try to call the nurse practitioner office for eight. To get Mally in, she has like a little bit of a rash or something behind her knee. And I know it's not eczema, it's something. Because the cream we have isn't doing anything. <clears throat> and I want to get her, see if I can get her in there. Anyways, yeah, I woke up this morning and the video I tried to upload last night isn't uploading. I uploaded like halfway and then said it stopped. I'm in the process of trying to upload it again right now, but I don't know what's going on. That's frustrating. But yesterday I had been busy. I mopped all downstairs, like the wood in the kitchen and the bathroom and the laundry room. I'll do a little walk around in just a minute. Alright, so today I want to do this. This is what I want to do. But, um, I did all of here. Now, I went to bed probably 10 o'clock last night, so I don't know what the living room's like now, but I did vacuum all over here. There's a little bit of stuff there, but that's just from the kids last night. But I did a good, hardcore deep clean on the floor. And the kids helped me, like, with the baseboards and stuff. <sighs> Piano still cleared off. Oh gosh, I hope I can get into that nurse practitioner. I don't want to go to outpatients. Oh, really don't want to go to outpatients. Oh, oh, my little stick just fell from my thing. Oh, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. No, I'll do it after. Uh, I give up so easily. <laughs> I'm going to go have my coffee, and I'm going to start repeatedly calling the nurse practitioner starting at, like, 7.55, because I want to get in. Oh, there's one of my slippers. It's chilly out. It is chilly. Yesterday was cold, too just put that there but the piano's still all cleaned off I'll do a quick little straighten up here the kids just ate the last of the papa treats from the other day we had a fire going yesterday my phone shut off I was uh, chatting I don't know what you heard or not but I just made myself a coffee I'm gonna start aggressively calling the nurse practitioner in about five minutes so I can get a spot in today if they're doing it. Hopefully they're doing it. Oh, the sneeze coming. There's my coffee. My house is still asleep. I'll get my daily updates. I hope that friggin' video from yesterday uploads now. That's frustrating. I wiped down the counters and everything yesterday. Like, ah, uh, frustrating. But anyways, yeah, let me have this sip. I just washed my face and put cream on. My hair's kind of a puff ball, but that's all right. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to enjoy the quiet for a little while. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, I finally got through to the nurse practitioner. And, well, I wasn't talking to her. I was talking to her, one of her office people. And she said she just got in and they're making changes. I don't think that they're seeing people, but they're doing telephone consultations. So she's going to get back to me. So that'll be good. Good morning, Maze. Mally just got up. So we'll see. We'll see if she can get back to me soon. And if I can just describe it to her. Or I'll send a picture of it to her and whatever. We'll see. But at least I got a hold of somebody, for goodness sakes. All right, friends. It's 923. I forget if I told you, I got a hold of the nurse practitioner's office and they're going to call me back because they don't do visits, she didn't think anymore, so that's good. I still haven't heard back from her yet. I called my local pharmacy that we get prescriptions from. I'm like, can you renew any prescriptions that need to be, or that is able to be renewed? You have to do it within, like they can't do it too soon. I couldn't call today to get one prescription refilled and then call again tomorrow to get it refilled again. So I don't know if there's enough time in between, but I want to get it what I can get it. Um, the pharmacist, her name's Tracy too. She's really nice, really nice. 
but uh, she was like, um, we'll see what we can do. But they have rules now because they only have a limited amount of stuff. So they can't let one family have everything and then two other families have nothing. And I'm like, I totally get that. I really do. So she said she'll renew whatever she can renew. And I said, I'm only making one trip to town possibly today. I thought I 100% sure that I was coming into town today. But if I don't have to go to the nurse practitioner, I don't really need to go to town. But um, I said, I'll call or they'll call me back when they figure out what's what. And I messaged my neighbor, Saritha, too. I'm like, I might be going to town today, so if there's anything you need, I've heard back from her, I will uh, pick it up for you. She has uh, home care once or twice a week, I think. I just asked, I said, I know it's none of my business, but if they're stopping that, you know, I don't mind coming over helping. I can cook, I can clean, I can do whatever whatever you know what i'm saying i used to do that with my mom and stuff you know you just home care is home care they do a tremendous amount of work so i don't know if that's stopped now or not maybe it's not stopped yet maybe it won't stop at all but anyways i'll wait and hear from her and i'll message medea too i don't know she's probably working today so evie will probably be coming over but if i'm taking a trip to town it's a one one <laughs> one trip that's it so i'll do whatever i can do i don't want to bring anybody with me i'll take every precaution i have gloves i have hand sanitizer i even have a mask if i need it but i don't know if people are wearing masks now there's nobody locally apparently that um has what's going on in the world if you know what i'm saying but I want to take every precaution I can. So if I have to stop and get groceries, I mean, we have enough groceries here, but I'd like to stop and get a couple things. If I stop to my pharmacy, that's right in, right in a grocery store. So I do a one quick stop, get prescriptions, get whatever I think I need. Mally wants to make a lemon meringue pie today. I have a lemon meringue pie mix, like a jello mix. It's not jello, but it's, you know. I said I'll stop and get a pie crust because I don't feel like making a pie crust today. It's not hard at all, but uh, I just pick up a frozen one or those little tarts. Those are good um, and do it all. But yeah, Maze is up now. The only one that's sleeping is Misha uh, besides my Marquise and my husband, but the rest of the kids are up. Maze is out there. Mally and Mazai are upstairs playing. I said you got to play quiet, quiet because you know, there's still people sleeping upstairs. <clears throat> but I do have that chicken in the fridge. Yesterday, if that video uploads, you'll see we had frozen turkey tetrazzini. There was a hat, there had been a slice cut out of it, but there was enough for everybody to have supper. And I thought I would do that chicken yesterday, but I didn't. So I might do that today. Um, just because that's raw chicken in the fridge. Gotta cook it, gotta cook it. But anyways, that's what's going down. Um, I still haven't started that bench yet, but we'll just wait and see. I've just been busy on the phone, on the phone, and hopefully we can get some prescriptions. There was one that was on back order because they couldn't get the stuff in. I said, well, due to the lack of not being able, when I talked to the pharmacist, not being able to do this prescription, can I get a different prescription? She was like, like, actually, we just got that in yesterday. I said, oh, that's great. That's great. Can you refill that? Because we are completely out and... You know, I know at least a couple of tubs of cream. It's a Clobetas all CeraVe compound. Um, she'll be able to do because we need it. We need it. But yeah, just trying to get on the ball with things. And yeah, I'm optimistic. I'm going to be, you know, proactive about things. Even things that might seem ridiculous. Uh, I'm like, I bought those chili seasoning packs the other day. I want to buy a big bag of chili powder because we might have chili enough times and if we're shut in for a longer time I'll go through those I need some chili powder and I still want to stop to Sobeys well that's where my pharmacy is that's where I go but I want to get a box of the egg replacer I know my mom bought me some years ago and it's uh, it's just like if you don't have eggs you can use that I'm just like I don't know we might not be able to get eggs sometime and I still want to bake if I can't buy bread I'll make bread if I can't make a 
buy cupcakes I can make. A cupcake. <laughs> you know, things like that. It's an egg replacer, I forget. It's like one or two tablespoons. I forget. And you mix it with water, and then that's an equivalent of an egg. Because I asked you guys the other day if you knew about applesauce, if you can replace that with eggs, but I guess it's kind of replacing for oil, I think. I have to reread my comments. But anyways, just trying to make sure as many of the bases are covered as possible. Uh, not in panic mode, just being in prepared mode. Because if I didn't get to the store for the next, I don't know, few months, I could probably still survive, like with the amount of people in my house. I have rice, I have pasta, I have canned stuff in the uh, basement, I have a ton of spices. I could dump a can of chicken noodle soup on top of a bowl of rice and that would be <laughs> a meal in itself. You can make it work, you can make it work, but if I can get some things covered, I will. So anyways, I'm just waiting to hear back from the, far, uh, the nurse practitioner's office to find out what my game plan is for today. I'm going to touch base with Dad too to see what's up with him because uh, his little hangouts that he goes to, he goes to Tim Hortons and hangs out in the mall, and hangs out once in a while, you know, like just a daily run for a little bit. I don't think he does that anymore. I don't know, I don't think, but maybe. Anyways, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, it's 10.38. I just got a call from the nurse practitioner's office. I don't know, not, I don't know whether to be happy or glad, but it was somebody calling representing the nurse practitioner and all she said was trying a steroid cream for two weeks that I can buy over the counter but I <laughs> talked to the lady I'm just like I have experience with eczema since my mom had it and all my kids have it and uh, I need a little more specific direction I know they're super busy so I'm not being mean about it but I'm just like can you write her back to find out specifically what she recommends because I don't want to spend 20 bucks on a small little tube of steroid cream that's over the counter and we get prescription creams that's stronger than the over-counter stuff um, what she would recommend <laughs> so she said yeah I can write her back they're really busy so it might not be right away but um, yeah, for Mally. So I don't know. We'll find out. I might call the pharmacists because they can prescribe stuff, but just not heavy duty stuff. And I'm just like, those guys are probably more in the know of what creams are for what to find out. So I'm going to call them right now to see what they have to say about that. So anyways, I'll let you know. <sighs> All right. I just got off the phone with the pharmacy. And they suggested a few things, like polysporin is not going to cut it, so I said something else, and yeah, but I'd have to call the nurse practitioner to get it. Just something I've used in the past, so I called the nurse practitioner's office and relayed an in-detail message about something I've used in the past, and I really think that would work, so she's going to relay that to the nurse practitioner, and then she'll fax it to Sobeys, fingers crossed. And we'll get it covered but yeah these shortages that's what scares me the most um, just because just because we're fortunate but it's affecting us I can't imagine the people that you know really don't have have the support systems that we have so yeah anyway so I'm just gonna wait to hear back from them it's only 11 o'clock in the morning I gotta start thinking what I'm gonna do for lunches I might just do sandwiches I have some bread and some ham I'm just gonna do up a couple of sandwiches for the kids and uh, yeah plan my trip to town later on this afternoon in time all right guys I just got off the phone with the nurse practitioner and they sent over that prescription so that's great I talked to the pharmacy to give them a heads up that it's being sent over so I want that filled too they're like oh this is the third time you called today I mean very nice they're very nice and I said yeah I just want to make sure it's all done all at the same time so I don't have to come back so I said I'll wait a couple hours and then I'll come into town it's 20 after 11 now so I got to figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch for these guys but I'm feeling good I got that sorted it's not like I did a lot around here but I did a lot yesterday and um yeah, I did a lot of leg work without using my legs, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm happy about that.
Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I write fancy, but this is what, uh, well, Mazaya and Maze are going to have for supper. Mally's just having some waffles now. Misha is still sleeping, believe it or not. But yeah, I'm just going to do these quick, and that'll be that. We'll have a better supper when it's time. All right, friends. Well, I'm just heading out the door now. It's just 10 after 1 or so. I'm going to go in and... I brought my gloves with me. I might wear a pair of gloves in the store. I don't know. I'm going to be an extra paranoid. We'll see. I'll have them in my pocket anyways. And there's hand sanitizer there. And all that stuff. But i got to pick Evie up for two. Today works from two to eight today. And I'll pick him up on the way back because I don't want to bring him into any stores. So, yeah, let's go to town. Alright friends, I made it to Superstore. There's a lot of cars here, so I know that they're offering like free grocery pickup and things. But I'm just going to go in quickly and see. And uh, then I'm going to go to Sobeys to pick up the prescriptions. And then we'll uh, stop and get gas and get Evie. Picked up a few things. There's not much 50% off stuff, but this is like the French fry place. There's some more of the name brand kind, but pretty much all the no-name stuff is gone. And a lot of the frozen vegetables over in the other cooler are gone, but um, there's still some here. Yeah, some. Uh, Sobeys. I gotta be quick because it's almost quarter to two and I need to get out and get Evie for two o'clock so it's just gonna be a quick in and out. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together Alright, we got Mr. Sleepyhead. He was in there sleeping on the bed. But yeah, I stopped to get gas, and I plan on just putting like 20 bucks in, because gas is expensive, but it's down to 80.5 a liter. I filled the whole van up. It was just about on fumes, and it was only $53, so wow, my van's happy. It's got a full belly, but we're going to head home. He might fall back to sleep. We'll see. Friends, I'm home now. It's 2.37. Picked up all the prescriptions I could get. They still owe me one. They said it'll be in tomorrow, so that's awesome. So at Sobeys, I got a thing of eggs. I couldn't find any egg, egg replacer there. Mally wants me to dehydrate some strawberries so she can make oatmeal and put dehydrated strawberries in it. So picked up that. Got a taco kit, some pie crusts, and Superstore didn't have any hamburger. These were the last two big packs of hamburger at Sobeys, so I got them. They were expensive, $11.49 and $12.05. And yeah, they're pretty much wiped out. So, and at Superstore, I bought two things of pork, $7.43, $7.37. Two things of baby carrots for them to snack on. I added to my medical supplies. I was reading last night, Tylenol is better for if you catch what's going around than um, ibuprofen and Advil and stuff. That could potentially make it worse. Do your research, but I just wanted to up my children's Tylenol supply. Um, I got a bag of apples, four English cucumbers, they were two for two dollars. I got two bags of mixed vegetables, I'm going to dehydrate this. Got a thing of cookies, they've already gotten into them, because it's St. Patrick's Day, I completely forgot. Should have made a boiled dinner, but we'll do that maybe this week. Um, oh, my phone shut off, I didn't realize it stopped recording, so I think you've seen the cookies, carrots, apples. I got four cucumbers. Two big bags of mixed vegetables I'm going to dehydrate. Um, a bag of potato cheddar pierogies. Uh, some hot dogs. Some more eggs. Three things of peaches and mandarins. I'm going to have to hide these because these will be gone in two seconds. A jug of milk. Uh, 
two Canadian pizzas, one four meat pizza and one Hawaiian pizza that'll go in the freezer and coffee and the prescriptions and gas. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Say hi, Abby. Hi. Hi. So I'm gonna sit down and have my coffee. I'll put this stuff away and uh, yeah, I might want, might dig out my dehydrators. So yeah, they already got into those cookies. <laughs> So, I'll be back. Alright, I'm going to empty these two bags into this bowl and start loading them on my dehydrator trays. So, we can get these bad boys going. Alright, I got all three of my dehydrators loaded. So, I have ten trays full of mixed vegetables. And I'm going to get them going. Get going, Marquise. So, I'm surrounded by kids. <laughs> All right, friends, it's 4 o'clock. I'm going to make supper. The kids already ate three of those four cucumbers. Um, yeah, so they've been snacking, and they wanted to have these for supper. So I'm going to make two boxes of craft Dinner and hot dogs. Some of them might want hot dogs cut up in their craft Dinner, or they'll just have a side with a hot dog and a blob of ketchup or put it on a piece of bread. I don't care. But I'm going to cook it all in the same pot, less dishes. I'll wait for this to come to boil. Drop the box of stuff in there. Throw some hot dogs on top and boil it all together. Alright, well my husband just went out with that two packs of chicken. He's going to barbecue it, but I'm still doing the hot dogs and craft dinner. I have two of my dehydrators plugged in out in the porch, and I only have one plug out there, so my Nesco one is here on the bench. But that's all good in the neighborhood, so I'm just waiting for that pot to come up to boil. And, uh, yeah, we'll get that supper going. Just drop the craft dinner noodles in there and I put 10 hot dogs so that should be enough for all the kids all right I just took the hot dogs out I'm gonna strain this and we're gonna whip it together all right Misha wanted to help there you go Mish. I just put a blob of butter in there might put a bit of pepper Perfect. Sometimes I do, yeah. Can you stir it up a little bit? The pot's hot though, so be careful. Perfect. Just wait a minute, Misha. All right. Mazes. Evie's. Misha, she wanted one in bread and one cut up. Um, Mazayas, Mally doesn't want any hot dogs right now. So, yeah, and they had cucumber, so they're good, they're good. Well, I'm just picking up the dirty dishes, loading the dishwasher. Mally's going to make a lemon meringue pie. That's pie. Have you seen it? Pie. She's just poking a few holes in the bottom and we're going to bake the pie shell. Ooh, look at what my husband just brought in. A whole bunch of barbecue chicken. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm just here with the boys. My husband's down there cutting up those branches. Remember when um, they fell down? I don't know, last month. Well, only one great big giant branch fell. He's cutting it up and burning bit by bit. All right, she's doing it. She's doing it. We'll see. There, yeah. I guess the box said for a deep dish um, pie, so maybe that's why. But leave it there. We'll put it on a cookie sheet after. And did we put the meringue on it right now? I forget. I'm going to look it up. Just a minute. When she first poured it, I'd pour it all in there, Mally. First pour, poured that in, it seemed kind of runny, so we put it back in the pot and boiled it longer. Watch out for that little box. The stuff's dripping down. Let it sit yeah, we'll let it cool a bit because she has the meringue all made. She did it all herself. It's just it's still so hot, I suppose. So we'll just let it sit for, I don't know, 15 minutes to cool down a bit. And then we'll put the meringue on it, or she will, and then pop it in the oven. Oh, yes, and that's Ebby's little apple he's been gnawing on. <laughs> Alright, we let it cool a bit and she dressed it with the meringue. It looks good, Mally. The little peaks and stuff. Yeah. 
I have the oven uh, all heated at 425 and we'll put it in until they get a little golden on top. Don't let Evie's toes get in there. Put his toes in it. Ooh, look at the pie Mally made all by herself. She's never made a lemon meringue pie and this is her first one. And it looks superb. So we gotta let it cool on the box it says for four hours. We'll probably put it out in the porch and let it cool down. And yeah, look at those peaks though. Look at those peaks. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> All right, friends. Well, it's about quarter after eight. I just dropped Evie off. And my husband asked if I'd swing in here and pick up a couple things. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a lot less busier. I should have just did my round in the evening just with less people and etc. But I'll do, go in and do a little loop. And uh, it's snowing out now. Not heavy, but it's snowing. I don't know how much it's supposed to snow tonight. Oh, I forgot my gloves this time. I've seen a couple people wearing gloves today. But I'm going to keep my jacket thing over the handle. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find. Hi. I'm a, on a little less of a time schedule now, so I can browse around a bit. Yeah, I'm not seeing hardly anything 50% off these days. Maybe just people are scooping them up when they can, which is understandable. But. So, hi. But you can see here, what was here? Four for five dollars. Onions. Cabbages are low. Turnips, 99 cents a pound. Not very big. My husband asked if I'd pick up some onions though. There's red onions there. Let me see if there's any over here. And potatoes. I wanted to get some potatoes too. I should have stocked up last week. I think they were on for $2.49 for a bag. $4.99. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, I seen big bags of onions earlier today when I was in here. But I don't see them now. So, I might have to get a bag of those red onions over there. I think I might have to. But there's still lots of stuff here. Oh, there's a 50% off sticker. I walked right past it. Hot peppers. Yeah. Well, I'll just get some red onions, I guess. I gotta get what I can get. There's the rack, but nothing's looking all that hot to me. Oh, look at the bread. Yeah. There's still some stuff here, but the loaves of bread, like Wonder Bread and stuff, are just about out. Go check, see if they got hamburger out, because I didn't have any here today. Wonder if they're going to get a haul tonight. Hard to say. Let's check this 50% off rack. What are these? Some sort of cookies or something? Shortbread. Yeah. I won't bother. Bacon, no, no. We'll see. Oh, yeah. They have the sign no burger available at this time. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, look at the milk now. I got a jug today, but to our value customers, we have a limit of four liter milk supply. An effort to ensure all customers have access. Yeah, understandable. But I'm so glad that we have that store down the hill. And look at the eggs. The dozen pack. I mean, you can get those little ones up there. But yeah, those are gone. Glad I got eggs today. Yeah, fries are low. I'm going to get a couple of these hash browns. Just because sometimes we make those when we have breakfast for supper. With cut up bacon and... Um, 
cheese. We could have a breakfast for supper sometime over this uh, hiatus, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no name veggies. I got those mixed vegetables today. There's no more of those. There's some peas, a bag of corn back there. Let me see. Yeah, there's some of that gone too. Oh, a lot of those Michelinas are gone. I mean, there was a sale, but yeah, there's some hungry men left, but not much. Yeah, I'm gonna zigzag up and down each aisle while I'm here. Might as well. There's some vegetables. Check the cereal and dairy and juice cheese aisle. See what we can find. I tempted to buy a box of margarine. I don't usually use that, but that's cheaper. $3.99 for a box. Just butter is so expensive, $6.49. That one's on sale for $4.99. I won't now. I still have some butter at home, but. Oh, cheese slices are $2.99. I might get a thing of those. I'll see if there's... I mean, there's lots of chips, but... There's different pockets that are cleared out. Just, oh, they were two for seven bucks. Lay's potato chicken flavored chips. Roast chicken. That's tasty. I haven't had that in years. Two for three bucks. I might grab some leave them in the van just to use them over the next couple of weeks as a treat. I have a big bag of flour at home but I was thinking I'd get another bag but they don't have like the big bags and I don't want to buy that but look what I found here. I'm gonna get those. That's the size bag I like to get of potatoes. I should have got a bigger cart. Oh and this was, what was this? Uh, oh, powdered milk. That's all gone. Skim milk powder. Carnation evaporated milk. But remember, I vacuum sealed two bags of skim milk powder. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, a week and a half ago. So I'm glad I did. I might grab a couple of these. Yeah. Oh, and this is where the saltine crackers were. There's some whole wheat ones up there, but the rest are all gone. There's one there, unsalted tops. But I bought two boxes the other day, so I'm good. And then big bags of rice. There's a few left, but that's it. And I bagged up three bags of jasmine rice not too long ago, so I'm happy about that. And there's some... I mean, there's still boxes of some rice there, but... There's some pockets empty. Rice noodles. Hmm. Oh, look at the pasta. And what was here? Two for four bucks. Triple cheese, like craft dinner. That's what was here. Craft dinner. Yeah, there's still some, but it's getting cleared out. Yeah, and the pasta. There's a little. Oh, we have a limited supply. Only six per customer. Yeah, well, I vacuum sealed a bunch of that, too, so I'm good. This is, I mean, during the outbreak, but before all the restrictions, and it really kicked off and got heavy around here, so not too bad. I bet you the pasta sauce is going, too. These are canned veggies. Uh, six per customer. Well, that's why I buy big frozen bags and can it up, because you can get more, but... Yep. The beans. Oh, here's the soup aisle. There's still soup, but down there is getting slim. And the canned fruits and stuff. Still stuff to get. Oh, this is the Mr. Noodle and stuff over here. 
slim pickings, but there's still some to get for people that might need it. Yeah. So at least they're not completely bare. And people still have time to stock up on stuff. Well, this is the cleaners and pet food and stuff. Let's check out that. This is be all like the Lysol wipes and stuff. And I've been collecting that for months and months before even all this started. So I got a good supply of that. Yeah. There's still cleaners here, but not those wipes and stuff everybody's hollering about. We'll move on to the next one. I don't got any pets to feed. Oh yeah. Well, my, while we're here, the toilet paper of course is all gone. But that's to be expected. It's a limit only of twelve or two per person for a twelve pack. But still, there's Kleenex. There's paper towel, for heaven's sakes, there's newspapers you could use if you had to. Yeah, cut a paper towel roll in half. You got two freaking uh, toilet paper rolls. If they're super thick, you might not want to flush them down your toilet though. But the cheapy kind of stuff I don't think would hurt. I'm not gonna bother with the kids clothes stuff. I don't need any of that. But when I was here today, I looked for some of those pizza bites and they didn't have any. It looks like they restocked this though. Oh, they did. Because they didn't have, this was almost bare today. So they did stock that up. Got some more stuff. There's a big holler out for baby wipes I see in places, but looks like there's still lots here. Oh no, that's diapers. Let's see what the wipe situation is, just out of curiosity. Lots of diapers. And I see wipes, yeah, so people looking for wipes. Superstore has some wipes. And I bought a big box of those the other day, so I'm good. Yeah. Cleaners and shampoos and beauty stuff. Well, no thanks. I'm about as beautiful as I'm gonna get. Shampoos, and mouthwash and stuff. Yeah, the pharmacy's closed now, so. Uh, at least for, you can still buy some stuff, but they lock up all the hardcore stuff. But I've been collecting stuff for a couple of months now, and I'm pretty confident uh, in my stockpile. I just need to get around to uh, organizing it. <laughs> But I couldn't buy Tylenol or anything here if I wanted to. But I have some at home, so I'm good. I'm going to look here for egg replacement. I, I'm sure I bought it at Sobeys a long time ago. But I find Sobeys has a better natural food section than Superstore, I have to admit. Or they have... I don't know. It might not be bigger, but it just has more of a eclectic supply of things. Not the general stuff. So, we'll go down organic and all that good stuff. No, I don't know where the baking stuff is. Oh, there's soy sauce and stuff. No, like, to buy this organic pasta sauce 6.59 that's expensive i wait for that deal when i can get like the regular kind for a dollar cuz i'm a cheapo but <laughs> maybe i'm not a cheapo i'm just frugal in shop deals i didn't check this other one over here where the refrigerated that's the stuff my husband likes to drink the zevia it's like pop it tastes just like pop to me only it's sweetened with zevia not sugar it's still more expensive than pop though is all juices and stuff. Teas and whatnot. Bags of organic milk. $12.29. Yikes. Even that 50 that with that 50% off is still more expensive than regular milk in some stores. Yeah. Alright. That's enough dilly dallying.
We'll see. Yeah. I'll check the sandwich meat section and then we'll shove off. Oh, look at that. I see a pallet of those potatoes I picked up. I'm just curious what those cost. I'll put that other bag back that was... Did I... Oh, that was my teenager he just called. Where are you? Never mind where I am, boy. <clears throat> but, no. Not seeing anything marked down. Yeah, that's bizarro for me, because I would always find stuff. Oh, there's something there. What is that? Black forest ham. No. I still have some ham at home. Oh, there's something over here. I could get somebody if it's something I wanted. What is that? Chicken breast. Shredded chicken breast, or like chicken breast something 50% off. Oh, well that might be something. Well, good morning friends. It's the next day. I'm still having trouble with, not yesterday, the day before this video, so I might have to scrap it and just get this one up. Anyways, this is what I got at the Superstore last night. I just left it in the van overnight. Um, those two bags of hash browns that will go right in the freezer. I got two more bags of strawberries because the one bag I bought earlier on yesterday, I believe, the kids wanted to eat it and I wouldn't let them. But this way they can have a little bit and I'll dehydrate the rest. Two bags of sugar, two for four bucks. I seen these. They weren't on sale, like two forty nine each, but this is a good side for some supper sometimes. So, yeah, it's not going to go bad. I've got two things of um, evaporated partly skim milk. Jello was on sale, five for four dollars, I think. And yeah, the kids don't get that very often, but I think that'd be a nice little thing. This was on sale, Crisco. <laughs> Sometimes I use this when I make pie crusts and stuff. And yeah, it can last a very long time. So yeah. The uh, cheese slices, we were out of garlic powder, so I got another big one. That's that chicken breast uh, sandwich meat. Uh, some pancake syrup, those pizza bites, bought two bottles of pop, ginger ale, and all right, a bag of spuds, my phone stopped. Uh, I got some more Epsom salts for baths and stuff, that's really nice, and a bag of those red onions, that's what I got. So I'm going to put this stuff away now. Oh, and I did get some bags of chips, but I hid them in the laundry room, because if the kids seen them now, they will want to dig into them. Uh, let me see what I got, I forget. Yeah, I got a dill pickle, two salt and vinegar, sour cream, and two ketchup. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be back. Alright guys, I have most of the stuff away. But, uh, yeah, Mally came and had a piece. Well, she had one of the pieces of pie. But look at how her pie turned out. Isn't that nice? I want to slice, cut out a piece, and get a nice picture of it on a plate. But, yeah, her very first lemon meringue pie... Mmm, this is my favorite kind of pie. That and chocolate pudding whipped cream pie. Yum. But, yeah, I'm impressed. Alright, friends. Well, I'm going to end this video now so I can get this uploaded. Hopefully this one will work. I just put a load of laundry in. Brought a big basket of clothes out to fold. Whether I get to that today or not, who knows. My face is all red today, but I washed and put cream on it, but I don't know. It's chilly out. we got a fire going, and I'll try to film today, too. I just want to try to edit this and get it up. Evie's on his way over here at some point today, and this way I can focus on getting this done before he gets here, because it's hard to do when he's here, and the kids are running around buzzing. Misha's Mace is still in bed, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm so sorry the past couple of days, but this one hopefully will be up. And, uh, yeah, I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, it's 10.07 in the morning. So, yeah, still got a day ahead of me. <laughs> but I don't plan on going anywhere today, that's for sure. we got food to cook and things to do. I'll probably start filming again after I end this one. So yeah, with that, I'll say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully. 
Bye. Boink. Bye.